What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah. It's already November, y'all. It's the first of the month. Get up, get up, wake up, wake up. So, all Gemini placements, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right? Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings in the description box, guys, on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit those likes, Geminis. Hit that subscribe. Y'all know what it is. And as always, y'all are greatly appreciated. <laughs> Someone emailed me about going live. Y'all, bear with me. I do have, like, most days I have, like, a ton of personal readings. So, I am trying to get my schedule together um, to where I can, um, to where I can, um, go live. Like, I mean, y'all don't have time to go no live, okay? I barely got time to do my nails, okay? Um, but I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. So, um, let's see. Although I do appreciate y'all a ton because y'all definitely keep me busy for sure. So we have picture. Mm-hmm. Um, looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. So somebody's missing you. Jubilee's missing you. And then we have Teddy Bear. Aww. Interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, and want to date. So someone wants to date you, Gemini's. Healthy choices, okay. Self-love, self-care, being happier, uh, love and life. Oh, I love this for you guys. I love it. Now, um, we have the golden mirror here on the bottom, which is narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, and one-sided. Now, Again, these are random words, and I will know what spirit is referring to when I start pulling cards. Um, but I feel like, uh, based on the overall energy, it might be the self-absorbed energy that's, that is aligning with you guys in the reading. I feel like a lot of you guys may be going through a, a selfish era, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay? Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But we'll see if, if this is somebody that's going to try to love bomb you or whatever the case may be, uh, Gemini. But based on the overall energy, that's kind of what I'm getting, especially seeing the self-love here, the self-care, uh, being happier. I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of moving to a more selfish era. Um, but let's see, though. Let's see, though. Aww. Well... The tower. <laughs> okay, and we have the strength card here. So somebody does miss you. And I feel like someone may have, they didn't expect to miss you so much. Uh, Gemini, I feel like they may not have um, expected to feel as deeply as they feel. Ooh, the eight of wands. I love that energy. So some of you guys, um... Are going to start dating or the person on your mind is going to want to start dating um now i do like the fact that the card says blooming romance as if something is progressing and the eight of wands is about progress so i'm seeing something progressing for you gemini it could just be your love life in general progressing it could be the person on your mind um something progressing with them we shall see yeah, Knight of Pentacles, taking your time, doing you. I love it. Um, Gemini's, I'm also seeing under there the Two of Pentacles and the Death card. So this could be the end of like somebody's money problems as well. Like somebody could be, uh, usually the Two of Pentacles can be about juggling finances, robbing Peter to pay Paul. But with the Death card coming behind that, it could be an end to that. Um... Gemini's okay, and it is this could easily be you, okay. Four of Wands on the bottom, mm -hmm. it could be a home situation. Um, Gemini's, hello. 
Oh, no. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I love it. The Four of Cups. <laughs> and the Hermit. Yeah, Geminis. I feel like you are very. Now, the Four. Literally, y'all, listen. Literally, the Four of Cups can be about being self absorbed. And I feel like, Geminis, a lot of you are kind of going through this selfish era. Um. I want what I want and if you're not providing what I want then you um, must be dismissed that's kind of what I'm getting with that uh, especially with the hermit card here I feel like a lot of you guys are uh, good on your own not necessarily mean you want to be by yourself it just means that you are okay on your own um, Gemini so you dealing with a Virgo so far I see heavy Virgo uh, and Scorpio Okay, it could also be Aries too. The tower is Mars. Um, so it could be Scorpio or Aries. But yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought it was. I didn't really feel, I don't really see a love bombing situation or um, anything like that. Unless some cards come out for that later on. But uh, yeah, Gemini's, I feel like a lot of you guys are just kind of um, in your own little world. You're kind of doing you. Um... I love it, uh, Gemini. Although the person, the person in your mind may also uh, need some self love and some self care as well, uh, Gemini. But they may be more so focused on uh, financial matters uh, than anything. <laughs> now what the hell really really so i'm seeing the seven of wands um i'm also seeing under there is the seven of swords the knight of cups the nine of cups i gotta be careful what i show y'all though okay you're showing y'all no nudity or nothing like that let me make sure uh yeah okay the magician the four of wands the six of cups lots of cards i just took what was on top um yeah gemini's i feel like someone is wanting to fight for you wow 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 mm -hmm. someone's wanting to fight for you now seeing the seven of swords here uh gemini's i feel like it could be uh someone's trying to avoid an ending with you like someone is trying to avoid um being completely cut off especially if you are um separated from this person i feel like a lot of you guys have gotten to this place of kind of like i don't want to say disinterest but you are very um apathetic okay if you don't know what apathetic means you know google is your friend <laughs> but um and i talked a little bit about stoicism yesterday but i feel like a lot of you guys are getting very uh apathetic and um regarding this person doesn't mean you don't care about them doesn't mean you don't love them but you aren't as uh, emotionally, um, you're, you aren't as emotionally invested in this person. I feel like you have kind of, kind of drawn all your energy back to you, especially with the self-love here and the self-care. You're happier, you're content, you're good, um, you know, on your own. Although you want a partner, you want a healthy, stable connection, but I feel like you're okay on your own as well. Okay, that didn't flip all the way over. Oh my gosh, y'all, ooh we, you got somebody coming in hot, baby. They don't want, someone doesn't want to miss out on you. I'm telling you, someone's trying to avoid you getting away. Yeah, someone's trying to avoid you getting away. Holy shit, Gemini's. Somebody is going to be coming in like a bolt of lightning, literally, because you see these bolts of lightning in both these cards. Um... Gemini's it's like somebody comes in with a bang and you may not even expect this from this person or see this coming or any of that um Gemini's some of you you may meet someone new as well so just be on the lookout holy shit okay I'm not gonna take any of these but man alrighty hold on y'all cuz Oh my gosh, y'all. Cards is falling out of the other deck. I didn't even touch that deck. <laughs> what the hell was that? 
Okay, so what fell out? Um, the Wheel of Fortune fell face down, but the Hangman fell, the, the Hierophant, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and then I'm seeing the Emperor. Ooh, baby. Somebody's not playing with you. I feel like somebody may like legit pop up on you now. Um, this I have this deck over here that uh, it's near me, but I know I didn't touch it. But this card um, was on the top and this card fell exposing this one. So like I said, I feel like someone is wanting to like make some type of grand entrance or, or grand appearance or some type of grand gesture uh for you gemini's but this could also just be like an element of surprise for you like you don't expect this person to um act this way or behave this way um but wow i'm seeing a lot of fire because you're i'm seeing wands here with these towers and that's that's definitely something that is very passionate very aggressive um gemini's Because what I'm seeing, ooh we child. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Gemini's, let me say this, okay? If you are separated from someone, you won't be separated from them much longer. The judgment card. Mm, mm, mm. Someone is, is about to make an appearance back into your life, Gemini's. Mm-hmm. Someone is making their way back. Could be someone you haven't heard from in a while. Because um, that is coming up with the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest night in the deck. Now, that Knight of Pentacles could be you, too. Uh, Gemini's. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Gemini's, you, this could be you. Like, diligently working. Putting your focus on work and not necessarily love. But it could be the person on your mind as well. But it could also be, like, them wanting to work things out. Wanting to fix things. Um... Wanting to study you and learn you and learn your love language and all these other things. But wow, Gemini, somebody's coming in with a bang. <laughs> but that is the beauty of, uh, could be a sash for some of you. That's the beauty of detaching. I feel like some of you guys have kind of detached. Um, child, I can't make this shit up. It's you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this golden mirror was going to be you, Gemini's. The Queen of Swords. It doesn't get any more detached than this. Yeah, Gemini's. A lot of you have detached from this person. Um, not saying you're not going to care if they come back. Yeah, see, the devil is showing up here on the bottom. Not, not saying that you don't care if this person comes back, but I do feel like you have detached from this person in some way, shape, or form. You know, um, even though you may be still curious about them, you may still want to know. Uh, this is the ultimate detachment here. That's why I get kind of the, the, the self-absorbed um, energy from, from you, Gemini's. I feel like you are kind of in this space of, eh, if it's not what I want, I'm not interested. This, this is what I'm seeing here. Um, and it kind of goes back to what I've seen in other readings with you guys. Learning your worth. Um, and standing on that shit like you you're you're saying things and you're standing on it um gemini's and i feel like like i said it's it's you kind of ruffle some feathers uh not even with just this person but with other people in your life as well but we're not talking about other people okay we're talking about your love life you ruffle some feathers with this person um gemini's your nonchalance definitely ruffle some feathers with this person okay <laughs> Because shit getting real for this person now, especially if you haven't talked to them in a while. Um, I'll give you a scenario because they're obsessed with you, uh, Gemini's. I'll give you a scenario. Um, you may be dealing with this person for a while. And usually when y'all fall out or when y'all fight or whatever, um, you're the one to, that, that comes back to fix it. Um, or you're the one you eventually fix it so even if even if you decide to disappear for a little bit because they disappear because you know gemini's can be petty like that <laughs> um if they disappear for a week you're gonna disappear for for two weeks or a month or whatever 
but you come back. That's what I'm getting. And this is just one scenario because it could be multiple ways that this person is having this tower moment. You always come back, but I feel like this time you didn't come back or you came back in a different energy. You came back not really chasing them, not really asking to see them, um, not really caring about their whereabouts, uh, Gemini's. And I feel like now it's like, well, damn, I might be on the verge of like legit losing Gemini uh, for good, like permanently. And it's kind of hard to get Gemini's out of this, out of this energy once we're in it like once we're in this energy if we don't care we don't give a fuck it's really hard to get us out of that energy but i do feel like they're going to still try um spirit okay we have the eight of pentacles again i told you they're coming to work this out Mm-hmm. they headed right that way gemini's they're coming to work this out uh gemini's six of cups oh because they miss you oh my goodness they may even say this too king of wands you're dealing with a leo nine of pentacles you don't give two fucks about none of it Page of Pentacles on the bottom. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign. Take it how it resonates. But my goodness, Geminis. I love the energy for you. I mean, that's just period. Like, you know. I love the energy for you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. For some of you, this person may tell you that they miss you. Um you feel like home to a person you feel like y'all belong together uh gemini's and you may be dealing with someone that doesn't open up easy as well and so um this person opened up to you or they let you in to an extent you know you may not feel that way you may not feel that this person let you in or open up whatever but i feel like you got close to this person uh closer than they let most people so i feel like this person feels like you know a bond with you of some sort um gemini's so wow i feel like too that this person may um bring you something because I'm, I'm i'm my eyes keep going to this teddy bear and then it goes to this dog here so they may bring you like i'm, I'm not going to say like a live puppy or a live dog but like um like a stuffed uh uh stuffed bear or like a stuffed dog a stuffed animal of some sort um gemini's just to try to like make things right with you and fix things with you but yeah i'm seeing like a gift it may even be something like sentimental to you or sentimental to uh the connection in some way um gemini's if they're traveling i feel like they may like bring you like a souvenir or something from their trip or something along the lines of that um gemini's now with this energy i feel like this could be either you or this person i feel like someone needed to kind of get their confidence together and i've been seeing that a lot for you but this could also be the person on your mind needing to work on their confidence um gemini so take that how it resonates because this could easily be uh you too okay it could be either one of you now of course the nine of pentacles coming out uh <laughs> over the queen of swords and the four of cups like i said you're just kind of focused on yourself you might be focused on your finances um taking your attention away from this person in this situation um gemini so that's kind of the vibe i get i feel like this person does uh miss you a lot <clears throat> and they i feel like for a lot of you they are going to like you know ask you out bring you a gift but it's i mean they're coming in with a bang i mean Hmm. It could simply be too that they have like some type of tower. And again, take the tower how it resonates with you. For a lot of you, it's just your energy is kind of changing with this person. Like your energy is shifting. 
you're kind of over it uh gemini's you're kind of becoming over it uh and they can feel that like they can feel that you know you're um you're tired of their shenanigans, Gemini's. You're tired of their antics. They can feel that. I feel like when they reach out, it's going to be like on a whim. Uh, so just be mindful of that as well. But I feel like they're, they're going to try to defend um, their, uh, their stance in your life. But I also feel like for some of you, uh, this is going to resonate with all of you. But for some of you, they may have like people in their life that they have to... Uh, like stand up to as well pertaining to you so I'll take that how it resonates because they may have people in their life where you do that doesn't necessarily approve of of y'all's connection or approve of y'all's relationship to um gemini so they may have people around them that they have to like stand up to um in order for this to work as well so Take that how it resonates, Gemini's. I'm all along, yeah. Reality has set in for this person, uh, Gemini's, that Gemini might not come back. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. Or Gemini's not going to be the same Gemini as, as before. And I feel like they, they want to kind of go back to how things were, um, especially with the Six of Cups over here. Now, things, I don't think things will ever be as they were. Um... But I do feel like it's, it, things can get better if, if the work is done, if you two are intentional about doing the work. But yeah, Gemini's, I feel like they kind of um, miss how things were. Uh, Gemini's, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to do things right this time. I told you, I told you. I, I feel like they'll, for some of you, they'll like legit court you. Like I said, I'm seeing like a gift of something, like a teddy bear or some type of stuffed animal uh that they'll bring you like i said i feel like you're gonna you're gonna be kind of shocked and surprised at how this person behaves because you you're not really used to this treatment from from this person or they haven't treated you like this in quite some time <laughs> gemini's um i feel like that's that's why you've kind of got into this place of meh you know um you know the the spark is kind of gone but i feel like they want to bring that back i need you in my life yeah let me shuffle one more and then i'll just Grab a few of these, and then I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> I know my pride and ego can be too much at times. Yes, I love it. Man, listen, with these towers coming out like this, Gemini, this person's ego is out the door. Out of the door. Because like I said, I feel like you're not doing what, what they expected, or you're not doing what, what they um what you usually do unblock me please so some of you have this person blocked or maybe they just feel like you do <laughs> i'll never leave by r kelly mm, told you gemini's i told you could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but this can also be um this person like opening up emotionally as well uh gemini's like putting their pride aside that's that's kind of what i'm getting i didn't mean what i said see see oh <laughs> Oh man, they know they fucked up, child. I know you're the one for me. Mm-hmm. They know they fucked up. I want to reach out, but I know the, I don't know what to say. They're gonna find what to say, Gemini's. They're gonna find it. Broke me down. I wouldn't check. Go look up the song, guys. You definitely broke this person down with the tower here twice. You broke this person down, like all the way down. They tried to stand on, stand on that ego as long as they could, uh, Gemini's. Baby, I'm ready by Levert. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like they kind of expected you to do what you normally do, and you didn't. I regret taking you for granted. Of course they do, uh, Gemini's. And they know they did. I can't stop spying and checking on you. <laughs> Within a week, something's within a week, uh, Gemini's. Okay, so I get lost looking into your eyes. And let me get one more, Gemini's. Let me get one more. Uh, Rent Money by Mary J. Blige. And there's one behind here. Let me get it. I wish I didn't miss you. Interesting, because this card says they miss you, Gemini's. <laughs> All right, Gemini's, hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.